Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Get right with you. I'ma get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up, then dismiss them. Bad. I ain't really here to take no pictures. Yo, what's up guys, back with another video, and today we're going to go through the easiest way to make your team a God Squad tier team by the end of this year, so let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that on Wednesday, this Wednesday, I'll be streaming my packs on Twitch live. I'll leave the link in the description below, and I hope to see you guys there. First off, if you guys were playing the game, uh, you know, a month or a few weeks ago, you'd know um, that in HUD challenges, you get free gold collectibles, and it's not different this week, um, as all you have to do is complete all 21 of these, and you get one gold collectible. Um, and same thing for Hut Rush. Uh, if you complete all the tiers in Hut Rush, you also get an icon collectible. Gold collectibles are very easy to get this year, uh, whether from uh, challenges, uh, players sets and like it's very easy to get them which brings me to the easiest way to get your team a god squad tier team which is pretty simple i'm pretty sure you guys already know it but i just felt like a lot of people are missing uh free master items by doing rerolls and such that is just it, it's like it's it makes your team much much worse uh by doing rerolls so i'll show you guys the easiest way just to get master items so let's get into it so first off you guys have to stop doing rerolls uh with your gold players I never, I have never done a reroll after like the first two weeks, just because the first two weeks are kind of boosted, because uh, like an 83, 84 makes your team. But aside from that, I have never done a gold reroll. Um, I think I, I like, I save every week. As you, I'll show you guys my team after. But I do, I do like any master icon I can get, I can, I do. So as you can see, I did my line A, I did Koivu, I packed Ekbot, which is pretty lucky, and I also, pa uh, I also did uh, kill Makar. So that's three master icons I did once I. Re Realized that it's so easy to get master uh, master items this year. This is Frosted Flakes was I think uh, two weeks ago. Then it was the Fantasy Hockey. Then it was Linus. So three weeks in a row I got a master item uh, and probably one of the best of each week. This it could be Katuria here, but it's debatable. Um, and yeah, so that's that's really my team right there. Um, and it's just very simple. Just don't do rerolls. Stop doing your rerolls. It's not worth giving eight. You do this what three times, four times a day. It's not worth it. Um, also. If you guys don't play hut champs just just play it uh, I did a pretty bad week uh, this week for in my terms honestly you guys might think this is good 15 to 5 uh, I got pretty unlucky but you know I'm just ass of the game really I should have finished way higher that's not the point though um, just by finishing top 200 I get two ultimate packs which you know I could get some very good things in because it's tradable uh, and I also well that's 40 players and if you finish anywhere if you guys can try to aim top 500 you get an ultimate pack and another 20 gold player pack so you get 40 players for you know playing 20 games in a weekend what else do you have to do right now um and also rivals um yeah like the tradable untradable it's you know it's debatable right this late in the year it's something really if they get something really valuable you need to get something very high overall and very good uh so let's say you go up and you get an 86 team of the week cool that's 15k 20k depending on the synergies um so it's just not worth it you guys should go for um the untradable i'm gonna try to get diamond by tomorrow because it finishes tomorrow i don't know what day i'm gonna be posting this but anyway this is monday today um and i just want to get those two ultimate packs and those two nhl players back i'm gonna try to grind um and yeah i'm just gonna try to grind but i'm gonna go untradable just because you get so many gold players and it's so easy to you know, make gold collectibles and with new events coming out every week new players uh it's just very easy to get a god squad uh, god squad team so i'll show you guys my team again um line i built uh on friday koivu i built two weeks ago um because the makar was a one week event obviously i got lucky with that blood and i got lucky with my defense uh packing most of these guys but this is my team um and uh, yeah, it's just very easy to get good players at this stage of the game just by not wasting your gold players. Um, I think I've I haven't wasted my gold players. I haven't done rerolls. As you guys see, I could be doing rerolls and get you know an 82 Whoopakaye. That's so good. Um, but it's just not worth it. Um, I'm just saving all my gold players that I have to make gold collectibles because that's the way to go to build your team. You want to build your team to make it the best possible and make your team better. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this is pretty simple. You guys probably already know this, but I just felt like I needed to put this out because I still see so many people doing rerolls. And you, yeah, you see people online or on Twitter, uh, they get something super sick from rerolls. But it's it's not, at the end of the day, you have like a less than 1% chance of getting something good. You're probably not part of that 1%. Um, so it's just not worth it. Keep your gold collectible, uh, keep your gold players. 
uh, and just complete this uh, hut challenge uh, hut challenges for the free gold collectible it's a very worth it um, because like I said uh, like let's say this is the best like if you guys are trying to get a master item go from a car or Katuria it's very cheap I went through it in my video when I actually went through the entire event itself Katuria I think is like around 8 gold collectibles which he is a 91 overall I think uh, I'm pretty sure at least and then if you go to Winter National here compare 8 gold collectibles to let's say Line A, who I did, um, which is tw uh, 12 gold collectibles. It's it's there's a big difference, and I think right now with those sets being out, you guys should take advantage of it because um, I I don't know if they're going to be there the entire time, but they're very worth it. Uh, but even here, if you guys can get like, one of these master like uh, master items, they're very good. They're very worth it, especially if all you do is save your gold players. Which let's say you if you sell all of them or gold do rerolls, you'll get max 60k because uh, you quick sell a shit like. That, depending on how much you have and most of them are untradeable save your gold players I know I probably dragged this a bit too long uh, longer than it should but just save your gold players make them into gold collectibles and then do a master item I hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments if you guys are doing gold rebuilds uh, you guys should just stop I'm telling you right now it's not worth it but let me know in the comments uh, also let me know which master items have you completed since the beginning of the game uh, everybody I see like they either have one master item or they have like 17 so it, it's it's very it changes uh, from people to people uh, but anyway let me know in the comments and also subscribe for you around here as we're so close to 250 subs which would be insane by the end of this year so uh, yeah let's make it happen and i have a lot of videos planned out i have a christmas pack opening i'm gonna have like 30 packs something like that i'm gonna buy packs i'm gonna save all my packs it's gonna be insane uh, i probably have uh, some of my goal highlights from hut champs uh, that i'll show you guys too i know a lot of people wanted to see that but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next and uh, anyway i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next one peace Peace.